It's hard to believe it's been almost 30 years, and I'm still getting emails from people saying, hey, I've got this old diesel, I turn the key and it doesn't shut off. I've done so many videos on this. I've written manuals on this, so I'm not going to go over all the details of this problem, but you need to remember if you're new to these old engines, the fuel shutoff is vacuum activated. It's not electrical. So on this 300, got it out of storage, uh, went to turn it off, wouldn't quit. And I got down here and there's a vacuum line that goes on to the back of the injection pump for the shutoff and it was just laying like that. Came off. The reason they come off is they get oil in these rubber vacuum hoses and they swell. The hoses will swell up when they get oil. The oil is probably leaking out of the fuel shutoff valve. It isn't has not failed yet but that's a sign it might be close to failing. But I want to talk about this problem of swelling vacuum hoses on these old diesels and what I do particularly in this area is I install silicone vacuum hose. So if you do get oil in the silicone vacuum hose it won't swell up and fall off. Now it doesn't solve the problem of why the oil is getting in there in the first place but it will prevent failure of the shutoff by just the hoses falling off and that's true in other vacuum hoses. Let me show you the modification I'm going to make right now to this 300 SD so the owner's not going to have a problem with this in the future. So here's a new hose that I'm going to install, and I'm going to install it with a small filter that will give me a clue I'm getting oil inside those vacuum lines. So I call this the inspection filter. So this long length is silicone vacuum hose, thick walls, and then a short length here. So I will remove this piece and you've got the brown line going into the firewall and to the ignition switch. And then I will install the short section onto the brown line. And then I'm going to push this on to the fuel shutoff valve on the back of the injection pump. But this is not so easy. There's something I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to remove this VCE valve. Otherwise, you'll fight forever trying to get this hose. It's very tight fitting silicone hose and it's hard to get on that nipple on the back of the injection pump without removing this VCV valve. And that's not difficult. You just remove these two Allen bolts and lifts up. You don't have to totally disconnect it. Give yourself enough room to reach down in behind there and get this hose onto that shutoff valve. Now you can see with that BCV out of the way, there's the nipple right there on the top of the shutoff valve. And I can reach in with my hand now and push this silicone vacuum hose on. All right, that's on there. Now I can go ahead and reinstall the BCV valve and uh, we're good to go. This is a pretty simple and easy to install modification for these OM617 and OM616 diesel engines. It will increase reliability for the shutoff mechanism. It will also give you a warning when you're getting too much oil into those vacuum lines. Now the chief culprits for that are the vacuum pump at the front of the engine and the shutoff valve here at the back of the injection pump. We're going to drive this car for a while. If this fills up with oil very quickly, then we'll probably end up replacing the fuel shutoff valve before it totally fails.